Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. We just arrived in Cerulean City. I am scared to go that way because I'm pretty sure our rival's going to be there and going to beat the crap out of us. So we're going to go over this away and catch a new friend and see if that helps even the odds at all instead. You know, just, 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 just. I'd rather do that than die, you know? <laughs> so, hope you guys are having a fantastic day and are ready for some Pokemon. Uh, and we'll see if we can't keep your uh, good vibe going. If you're having a bad day, well, I'll see if I can't help that a little bit. So what we got? What we got? What we got? Walking through the grass, and we get ourselves sicked on by a Spiro. Well, I mean, that looks familiar. Jasper, can you come deal with your lady friend, please? I think that would be best, because everything else in my party, besides the overpriced sushi dish here, is weak to flying types. Uh, to Fury or to Peck? Let's Fury. What does Fury get us? Not much. Well, sorry, Director Fury, but uh, we're going to have to find somebody else to run the organization. Let's try Nathaniel Peck. Who's... Who, no, hang on. Who's, who, who's Nathaniel Peck again? I always forget. I know that Gregory Peck was an actor. Random thoughts. That's 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 uh, what we do here. 90% random bullshit, and the other half is just, you know, me opening and closing my mouth while weird things come out. Not like Xenomorph tongue probe things, either. Those are just creepy. Ekans! I guess that's who we're catching, then. They get me a snake. Not even one that has, um... Not even the... the, 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 the okay, because... As far as I recall, Ekans has two abilities. Uh, Intimidate and, I think, Shed Skin. And considering our attack didn't go down just now, it looks like this one has Shed Skin. Which isn't really... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, Intimidate, honestly. It's a pretty useful thing. Oof. Apparently Jasper is not a fan of said snake. Still... Let's, uh, get her in a ball and get on going. Yeah. 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 yeah excellent. Ekans was caught. All right. Lady Snake. Lady Cobra. Um. Hmm. Okay. Ekans. The Snake Pokemon. Height, six foot seven. I, 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 I'm, I'm really getting quite convinced that height is, 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 um, like, variable. Because, like, with Zubat... I think it was wingspan, and with this, I'm pretty sure it's length, not actual height. Weight, 15.2 pounds. A very common sight in grasslands, etc. It flicks its tongue in and out to sense danger in its surroundings. Oh. Well. Um. Why don't we call her... I mean, I, 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 I keep wanting to put the word lady in my female Pokemon names. You know, like, Lady Cobra, Lady Viper, Lady... I don't know. Um, and, but naturally, the desire that trumps all other desires is the desire to make puns. Because she's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> An ass is, is, is a kind of snake, in case you're not so aware. Alrighty, hasty nature. Another, wait, didn't I already have a hasty? Maybe it was one of the ones I put in the box. Anyway, hasty nature. Shed skin. Wrap and leer. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using you too much. Sorry there, lady, but um, not a lot going for you. However, this is a bit of a problem for me, because I was rather hoping to fight a few more things before I had to go fight Smug Dud. Go ahead and stick, uh, kick your ass in here, because I'm not going to be using her for this fight, certainly. Which is, I hate to say it, we may need to bring along a sacrificial lamb, because this might be bad. Considering he's got, what? Our our, 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 our rival has uh, two Pokemon that kick the crap out of most of my team. A Fire-type and a Flying-type. Because we know he has a Pidgey, or possibly a Pidgeotto by this point. <laughs> I don't like it. I do not like it. And you at least know... Quick attack for whatever good that's gonna do you, but I wouldn't exactly hold my breath on it. I, I I'm 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 genuinely like worried here. I, I I think this might be where we finally lose someone because this is gonna be a brutal fight. <sighs> I'm I'm debating what the best strategy is going to be because we're either going to have to lead off with the unloved, hit it with leech seed, hit it with poison powder, assuming it lives that long. So I'm pretty sure his first Pokemon is his Pidgey, like before. 
Um, the problem with that plan is because he no longer knows Growl, I can't weaken him first, and he's not going to survive very long. So I might have to Leech Seed and then switch to someone else immediately. Probably Jasper is the only one who has any kind of an advantage against flying types, or, you know, not a weakness to them anyway. And then hope he can Growl it until the Leech Seed, you know, renders it neutral. But I don't know what I'm going to do for, Char for uh, Charmander. Charmander, because, like, yeah... We're in a bad way as far as fighting fire types goes. Like, I mean, Moxie and Jasper are both neutral to fire, but I'm pretty sure they're underleveled at this point as well. So, I really don't want to grind excessively, but I may have to go do some training because I just don't think I have a choice. Or we're just going to straight up die. <sighs> I mean... We've 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 managed to find a way to come back and win, you know, from 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 a deficit, you know, before. But this is a little different. And I guess it's not grinding if you're just trying to, you know, make up for the lack of levels you already have. I I don't know. I I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm determined to 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 stick to what I said about no you know no excessive grinding and and and, and, and getting over leveled. But I guess if it's just making up the the gap. So you don't utterly die, because you know, going going into a fight, I'm sure you're gonna win is boring, but going into a fight, sure you're gonna lose isn't isn't, isn't really good strategy either. Okay, fourteen. What do we do it that way? What if we get all of our Pokemon up one level? Six, you know, just 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 one. Oh, it's not excessive grinding. It's just a little bit of reassurance, I guess. Just a little bit of something to help you, help me, help Windar, help all of us, really. Just be a little more certain that we're not just going to get in there and utterly fucking die. Damn. I love when I'm when a, a hit go, uh, Jesus. You know what, that might take a little while. Mm. And of course, I always have that, uh, that uh, rare candy that we pocketed back in Mount Moon, but that's only going to go so far as well. The thing I don't get though is, is if Smug Dud is going to be that much stronger, how come the only area you can train around here is, you know, level 10s and 12s? Like, like if, if, if he's packing level 16 stuff, and I'm pretty sure he is, because that's the level that Charmander evolves, um, and I'm pretty sure he has a Charmeleon this time around. I don't, I don't remember 100%, but that sounds right. So if he's packing a Charmeleon, he's got a level 16, at, at, at least one 16. Um, I think Pidgey only evolves, actually, Pidgey evolves at 18. Then again, sometimes uh, the NPCs and the NPCs in Pokemon, you know, cheat the the, the 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 evolution process a little bit. So I'm gonna assume 16. It's just gonna be one big unhappy mess. Hmm. Still, Moxie's coming along nicely. If I can get her a little stronger, she'll definitely be a help. There you again. Level six again. Are all the snakes in this grass just pathetic? Oh, see, this one knows Intimidate. That would be useful. See, if I had gotten this one, I could have had a way to, like, just switch in a Pokemon. I, 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 again, assuming that um, using her as a sacrificial lamb. Switch in a snake that, you, that, that has uh, Intimidate. That way it can um, lower his first Pokemon's uh, attack stack. I'm pretty, again, I'm pretty sure it's, it's, uh, it's, it's Pidgey or possibly Pidgeotto. Um, which would lower its attack by two stages, which may not, you know, it, 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 it might, not win, might not win me the battle, but it would certainly tilt that, that first round back in my favor a little bit. Which we could sorely use. But we will make do with what we've got. If I could trust Moxie to, Moxie to go first, I would put her out first and drop Rock Tomb on it, because that would certainly help too. But her defense is not the best, and it would quickly, quickly result in her getting uh, gusted. How do you stack up defense-wise? Two. I mean, defensively, the unloved is definitely the best we have, unfortunately. But Lady Silk, not bad either. Has Harden as well. Theoretically, I could put her in, start hardening, and then Poison Powder. But that banks entirely on us not getting critted, and as we've seen before, my luck is not the best in that regard. Relying on 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 not getting uh, not getting crit is uh, shaky at best. So we're probably gonna have to start off with 
the unloved because he is the best we have, much as I much as it pains me to say it. I know we didn't level Lady Silk, but honestly, she, she, she takes a long time to level. I'm not going to sit here all day and do that. We're not excessively grinding. Let's just go. Let's just go and do this. Okay. Yo, Winda! You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great! I got a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon! Here, let me see what you caught, Windar! Windar. Windar. This is gonna hurt so bad. He's got four, I've got five. Pidgeotto. Level 17, that's even worse than I thought. Oh, this is gonna hurt. You know what? Please be stupid. That, that's, that's the one that, like, honestly, al almost my entire chance at winning this just lies in the AI being stupid. And this is not a great way to start off that hope. Okay, good. The seeds have landed. But the gust has begun. Oh, yeah, it's not great. That is, what, 22 damage? If he crits, I just instantly die. Well, Unless I'm in full health, which is not going to happen again. Um, what's your defense compared to green here? 27 to what? 15. Oh, God. That is not great. This is very bad. Her 27 to her 22. I mean, I could put her out and try to, and, and, and try to poison him. I'm just dividing experience up at this point. Oh, boy. Okay, well. Please don't gust me again. If he, if, if he uses sand attack, then her compound eyes should offset it somewhat. Nope. Yeah, that sounds about right. Damn it! Okay, well. There goes our Butterfree. Lady Silk, rest in peace. God damn it. At least he gets the sand out of unloved. I, 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 I can't believe we sacrificed a Pokemon for you. Oh. Okay, fine, fine. We'll, we will, we will make this work. We'll find a way. Would you knock off with the sand already? There, suck it. I will, I will dot you into oblivion. You. God damn, monstrous bird! I knew this thing would be a pain, but jeez. Alright, Jasper. Do not crit him. About 18 damage is so much. You know, I I'm tempted to, to just potion him. Because if he crits me, I lose Jasper. If I lose Jasper, I am in all kinds of just bad situations. We need Jasper. Jasper is is pretty pretty damn helpful. Oh, uh, boy. Fine. I have lots of potions. We're going to take advantage of them. All I need to do is, bait, is, 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 is wait him out another... Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. Absolutely. So, who else is glad that I did that? Me? I am. I'm very glad that I potioned her at that moment because I was just like, you know, death, death and agony staring me in the face with a crazy pink mohawk. This isn't a mohawk. Whatever hairstyle that thing's hair feathers look like. Oh my god. We already lost Lady Silk. We can't lose Jasper, too. Okay, we're Tata. That's entirely reasonable. I don't need to be scared of you, do I? Why do I'm so rattled. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm scared of everything he's got now. Yeah, damn it. They're all, they're all higher level than me is the problem. Would you stop that? Oh, my God. You monstrous shits. What is with this crit parade? Okay, you know what? We... we, we... Mm -hmm. Jasper's defense is, 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 is going to cost us all of our potions if this keeps up. Here. Restore this to a manageable level, please. I'm suddenly very sad that I gave up Growl for Poison Powder. Like, Poison Powder is good. I feel like I 
feel like like I, I uh, should have kept uh, Growl and got rid of Tackle instead because it's more valuable to us at this point. Don't you fuck off with that! Problem is, we need to like like this is this is the only strategy I have. The only way I can beat a, a, a team this much stronger than mine is just to you know cheese them to death, and I hate that. But like I, I don't have a choice. Okay, you get that for crit proofing purposes because these things are a pair. Apparently, there's some kind of a club or like a like a like a particular training regime out there that I'm not aware of that just makes them crit happy against me because my guys don't crit nearly this often. Okay, there you go, Jasp. Just sit tight. Uh, wow. Anything else we can even do at this point besides just let Rim bleed out? Not really. I could, I could change back to Jasper, I guess, for whatever's coming next. Not much point, really, though. So I guess just finish it off. Okay. What's next? Uh, oh, it's still Charmander, but it's level 18. It should be a Charmeleon. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Uh, <laughs> Fuck. Um. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't have a potion strong enough to keep this up for long. He's gonna. No, we're not. We're, we're not pushing our luck on this one. Dare I use a fish for this? I mean, he'll at least take the first ember and be all right, but. Oh, the fence is better, even better. See, her, her. This is so bad. This is so bad. Come on, Moxie. You are our only hope. Of, like, just drop rocks on him. Please don't burn me. Okay. We've taken the worst he's gotten, and, and, and we've managed to cope with it a little bit. Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb is the way. Good. Good. We, oh my god, this is stressful. We might actually pull through this just barely by the skin of our freaking teeth. Oh god. Okay, heal you because the ember is coming, the ember is real. Oh, he's at low health. That's right, he does more damage when he's at low health. I forgot about that. Oh boy. I can heal him. Okay, if 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 I heal up again, and he uses Ember again, we'll be fine unless he crits. I feel like I, I could change. I mean, if if I if I change the IOU, then we resist it. We cut his damage in half. There's no way he's not gonna use Ember. We know he's gonna use Ember. Our defense is so low though. It's 11, but we take half damage. But we're at a way low level. I don't know if it's actually better. <laughs> Let's just heal. <sighs> Come on. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Come on. Just just don't... Don't crit me. Do not crit me. Thank you. Whatever you do. Oh, you fucking monstrous bitch. I'm not, I'm not even gonna level out of this, which is the sad thing. And Abra... Do you even know any attacks? I feel like you don't. I'm suspicious, though, because I know you can teach Abra Hidden Power. I don't know if he's done that. It wouldn't make much sense for... Okay, it's teleport. Okay, I didn't need to actually waste a potion on that. I'm sorry, but I'm... I'm making goddamn sure at this point that nothing else is going to go wrong. This is just free experience, then. Okay, so... Who wants the level? You need it, that's for sure. Switching the fish for a minute, I guess. And then we'll pop back to Moxie and let her uh, carry the day. Okay, so M MVPs of, 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 of this battle, definitely, definitely Moxie here, and grudgingly I must admit that the Unloved played at a, an exceedingly vital point, uh, a part as well. Punch that thing in the face, punch it in the dumb face. 
We're gonna beat this thing to death with you know with our bare hands. Okay. It's over. The nightmare is over. Hey, take it easy. You won already. Dude, you killed one of my Pokemon. You killed Lady Silk. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. <coughs> Pardon me. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC too. It's your using his system. You should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Yeah. Oh, what, you're back already? Oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. Not really. You're always plodding behind me, and I killed your fucking Butterfree. I mean, come on. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. I don't want your present. I want to throw this thing in the ground, like, just, just in, in the river over there. A chatty gossip like you? That thing's perfect. I don't need it, because I don't give a hoot about others. Well, that's certainly true. Yeah, all right. This time I really am gone. Smell ya. You asshole. You killed Lady Silk, you monster. Uh, fine. All right, people. Here it comes. We have to bury our first victim. Let's let's take her over to the the mortuary. I guess this is. Let's let's just go ahead and yeah. This 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 is the the uh, the morgue. Oh, Lady Silk, we 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 knew you since you were a Caterpie. We 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 had some 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 good times together. You 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 were you were instrumental in in in, in getting us safely through Mount Moon against those poisonous uh, Team Rocket Pokemon. You will be missed. Goodbye. Oh man, it's a sad day. God damn. I knew I knew that fight I knew that fight would, would be rough, but it took us it took literally every potion I bought. Every single one. That's so rough. Do I even have enough money to buy more? I, I can go buy a potion. I can go buy a potion. It's not even it's it's not even worth it. I'm doing it anyway, because you don't have a choice, but it's not even worth it. Oh man. We 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 tr <laughs> Lady Silk's life bought us. 300 poke. That, that's that's dark, man. That's just dark. Okay, well, I guess this is a good place to leave it off for now. I'm gonna go on up to Nugget Bridge here and get to the trainers I wish we could have fought before fighting Smugda. That way we could have actually had a better prepared team. But Moxie and the Unloved got us through. We're all right to keep going. Our team is not utterly bugged. F fucked. I mean, as much as I hate to say it, dear as Lady Silk was to all of our hearts, rest her soul, you know, she was also going to be the one of us that eventually was going to be, was, was just going to have to fall by the wayside. Because as, as, as I mentioned in a previous episode, the bug types that you get early on just do not hold over very well into the future. So I, I guess if anyone had to make the sacrifice or, or, or take that unlucky hit, I, I, I guess it was best that it was her, but yeah, it still sucks. Like, Butterfreeze are great. They're, they're, they're excellent catching Pokemon, you know what I mean? They, they, she, she would have she, she would have made us many friends going forward. But for now, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this definitely tense episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!